So y'all want to talk about soul walk-ins. <sighs> All right, buckle up. Here we go. First, we have to talk about the consciousness of our actual bodies, like our physical vessels. So the body has its own consciousness, its own soul uh, that comes with it through basically the DNA, the genes, um, but it's separate from your higher self. You can also call your higher self uh, your oversoul. And what that is, is the fullness of all of the experiences of a particular um, being or soul. The oversoul branches out and puts little bits of itself, similarly to how source branches out, puts little bits of itself into different lives, different bodies, different experiences. So when I say a soul walk-in, in this case, I'm referring to an aspect of my oversoul that is integrating into my physical body. So this aspect could have been experience that I gained from a specific lifetime that I once lived where I was a mathematician and a businessman. I mean, imagine you as a soul, you've lived hundreds, if not thousands, if not more lives. You have all of these different experiences, all of these different skills that you did in these other lives. So um, when we are ascending, what we're doing is we are expanding our light because we are siphoning more light from our oversoul into this bubble of light that's still connected to the oversoul. I, I wish you could like see what I'm seeing in my mind. It's like a blob of white light is the oversoul. And then there's these little like chunks that kind of go down and connect to different places, to earth, to different planets, to different star systems. And then as um, sometimes that life will end. So more that light that's over here, let's say, let's say that life is over. So that light can either go back into the oversoul or that light can like merge you know, so that's also sometimes how that can happen. Like it's almost like merging dimensions or merging realities. Uh, you are becoming um, one with your multiple selves, becoming one with all of yourselves. It's pretty cool.